I don't necessarily know all the time how powerful it's supposed to be. Is music supposed to like make you curl into a ball and assess your entire life? Sometimes it is. I don't mind intense feelings. The thing that's important to me is that it's not preachy. As long as it's honest, it's fine. I feel the same way. It's gonna be fun, you know, you're gonna have a good time. For me, I know that I battle with those two things and I think that we try to have like a healthy balance of both of those things on this record. It's already really interesting putting together the set list from like gleaning our favorite songs or the songs people seem to respond most to from our previous records. So then we have totally are setting ourselves up with this to push the live show to a totally new level. I always felt that was one of Metric's struggles because we would write a record and then we would go perform it and of course performing you're getting energy from the audience and it would bring something out in us that was more. I found a, a 26 minute version of Dead Disco on, on YouTube. It just goes on and on. Isn't there some point where Josh just like... Yeah, like you can't really see Josh and at one point. He just like, he's like, it just comes up flooding across <laughs> the base like pointed like... It's crazy. It's just straight like electricity. Plug directly into the wall with your finger and then just like went. That, I actually think that's exactly it is that until very recently we haven't you know, had the songs that express that. It's always been like, we have songs, and then there's that element that is so much of who the band is. It doesn't have a sonic we, outlet. We had to express it with our Yeah, other than me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Jimmy has an amazing hair. Everyone has that ability to hear those things, but one thing that he can do is really understand what's being created in what instruments you know fit together in that, in that type of section. There's something about doing guitar in the studio that uh, guitar is not really a very controlled instrument, or it shouldn't be, at least in my band. I don't play it very controlled on stage at all. Like those shows where I would just go completely off the charts and unhinged and just do whatever the fuck I felt like doing, and we would walk off stage and be like, that was awesome! Like, do more of that, it's way more fun. So that's kind of where a lot of like my style came from. And when we're in the studio, it just like gets hyper controlled and just not present. We need to flip that situation a little bit. That little weird little pedal right there called the Lemon Drop, um, was made by a local guy. It really actually became irreplaceable tone on the record. It's all over the place. There's so many unique instruments and there's so many bizarre things that I've picked up over the years. And I think I just really had a desire to make something that I'd never heard before and try and use the most interesting and innovative ways to try and get sounds that evoke the same feelings as music that you've heard before, but doesn't sound anything like it. They were right. When they said we were breathing underwater Out of place all the time In a world that wasn't mine to take I'll wait Is this my life? This my life oh, 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 oh Am I breathing Underwater
days We beat a path through the mirrored maze I can see the end Ah But it hasn't happened yet I can see the end Ah But it hasn't happened yet